Welcome to our lecture online and our next topic on vectors is how to add them. And we have different methods to do that. One of them is a graphical method and the particular one we're going to talk about here is called the parallelogram method. So what you need to do is recognize you have two vectors. You have vector A which starts here, points up in that direction. Vector B which starts here and points in that direction. Again, you can move these vectors around. You can take A, move it around anywhere you like. Take B, move it around anywhere you like. It doesn't change the vectors at all. But it's a good idea that when you're going to add them graphically that you put the two tails of the vectors together in one location. Then what you're going to do is take a pen, go to the tip of one of the vectors and draw a line parallel to the other vector. So since this vector B is in this direction, you're going to draw a line like so, parallel, and hence the name parallelogram method. So parallel to vector B, you're going to do the same with vector A. So you go to the tip of vector B and draw a line parallel to vector A. And let's see, that would be kind of like this. And at some point those two lines will cross. That is the point where the sum of the two vectors will end if you draw a line from where they both start to that point right there. So if I draw a straight line like this, and then put a little arrow, arrow on it, this here represents the sum of vector A and B in a graphical sense. So what I can say is, if I call R the resultant, this is usually called the resultant, that's the resultant vector, the sum of A and B, I can then write that R is simply the sum of A plus B. Notice I did not take the magnitude of A and add it to the magnitude of B because the direction is important. So to get the proper magnitude of the resultant, you have to kind of draw it graphically like this. Now you can go with a ruler and measure what that length is in relation to A and B, and that gives you the magnitude of R, the resultant. Now later on, we're going to teach you how to find the exact magnitude using a more mathematical method, a numerical method, to find the resultant. But at this point, this is simply the way you add two vectors together using the parallelogram method.